Hello everyone, uh, this is Thomas, part 3 of how to price an option using a binomial tree. In the previous section, we looked at uh, three general ways to price an option. One is using the Black-Scholes formula, it's pure numeric. Second is using the binomial tree. And the third is using a computer simulation called Monte Carlo. If we focus on what we'll do in this section, which is binomial. So what do we need to do? There are basically three steps in the binomial model. The first uh, is to find the variables we need to structure the tree. And there are five things we need uh, for this. Uh, first is t, ud, p and 1 minus p. We'll go through uh, this in a few minutes in more details, but these are the five variables we need to make the tree work. Our second step is to construct a tree or the price path of a tree uh, of the underlying asset. So take note, this is the price path or the price tree of the underlying asset or the stock in our case. This is not the price of an option yet. So this is underlying asset price path. So let me put this down here. So this would be the price movement of my stock itself. My next step would be based on the tree just now uh, and the stock price that we observe on the tree, we look at the value of the option at maturity. In this case, is the European option. And then for the value of the call, based on the stock price at each time slot, we discount back the option value back to today, and that's our option value. So these are the three steps. Uh, now let's look at the first step. So the first is we need to find these five variables as input to our binomial tree. So first step, let's find the T. T stands for the length of time of each step in terms of a year. So make sure it is the length of time for each step on the tree. So the formula for T is the options maturity in months over 12 times 1 over the number of time steps that we need to do in the tree. So we'll see how this works. In our example here, we have a 9 months option. So if I look at my one year, to one year here, this option is only for 9 months. So here, um, if I look at this 9 months option, it's actually 9 over 12 of a year. But this is only the, the maturity of the option. We need to do one more step. Within the tree, we say we need to make it into four time steps within the nine months. So given this nine months duration, I need to have four steps within this nine months. So the first time we do nine over 12 is to uh, account for the nine months out of a year for the life of the option itself, for the full term of the option. The second thing we adjust for is the step of the size of each step. Here it's 4, so it's 1 over 4. So in this case, if we need to find the t, which is really, the t would be how long is this step, each one, uh, for the option. So here for each step, the 9 over 12 is to adjust for the 9 months life of the option. The second one fourth would be 1 over the number of steps, and that is to account for, given the 9 months we have, I need 4 steps, and so I times 1 fourth. In our example here, uh, it's 0.1875 or 2.25 months. As an example, if we say we have a 3 months option, and we need to have six time six steps. Our t in this case would be three over twelve. So this is to account for the length of the option times 
1 over 6, and that is to account for the number of steps within the three months uh, over the option life.